First morning, Chief Meteorologist Tony Minoffi now to the conversation. Tony, I hate to even bring this up. There has been so much chatter on social media about another storm that's behind Milton. Can we get your take on what the system is, if anything? Yeah, well, first of all, we wouldn't be having this discussion if there, if there was, wasn't this chatter. Because okay. it's, you know, there's a lot of sensitivity here. But you're right, yeah. we have to address the, the elephant in the room. Yeah. There's nothing there right now. But when you look at some of our global models, Michelle, they are hinting at some moisture coming in across the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, let me show you what it looks like here between the 15th and the 20th of October. That's going to be the time frame that some of the global models are hinting at a moisture developing in the northwestern Caribbean. This is the European version as a strong front coming in and then a weak piece of energy getting pulled up towards the north and the east with another strong cold front here coming into uh, southeast Texas. Now the GFS was singing a stronger tune here uh, earlier today, but the evening run takes a piece of energy right here at the very, very end. Do you see the blue and moves it off towards the west northwest? So for me, 10 days out, bottom line for me, is this an area of interest we're watching on the long range global models? Absolutely. Does it mean a storm is going to develop? Absolutely not. Best thing we can do is enjoy the weekend, get our cleanups taken care of here. It's going to take some time and just wait to see what the models do long term. Now is not the time to say something's going to develop. There's nothing even out there. And I want to make that crystal clear. Just keep checking back in. Hurricane season ends November the 30th.